what is the value that figures bring to different stakeholders who come across your research manuscript for authors when it comes to you writing your paper figures can save you time in presenting complex data in a simplified manner you can show your data in a logical convincing manner figures enable you to bring about an easy understanding of your conclusions uh, in a study especially parts that are complex or maybe confusing or require a certain level of nuance and last but not least and I'll elaborate on this point further they facilitate peer review and eventually the comprehension of your study when it comes to somebody reading your manuscript a figure will immediately capture their attention it will help with the quick understanding of complex data it will facilitate knowledge dissemination and provide visual aid to understand complex methodology of processes and for peer reviewers it tells them immediately about the quality of the research that they are assessing it helps them evaluate the significance of your data very quickly it enables a comparison of interpretation made with text and the evidence of figures it helps them with determining data integrity and it helps them make rapid decisions on passing the paper on to the next stage of the publication process here is a little secret that i will tell you at the start of this i told you that i had spent a lot of time in the last 5 years talking to publishers and academic societies about their publication processes one little secret i can let you in on after having interacted with not just that group of people but also speaking to peer reviewers themselves a lot of peer reviewers do two things when they evaluate a manuscript they read the abstract first and then they immediately jump to the figures and tables that are presented in a study they go to that spot to understand or to gauge whether what is being claimed in the abstract has any basis in what is being shown in a figure or a table sometimes when they look at graphical information it also tells them about the statistical significance of the data that you are reporting on in your study so today you know that figures are actually a pretty key aspect of the peer review process peer reviewers use figures to make decisions on the validity of what is being represented in your research paper and last but not least when it comes to the journal editorial board a lot of the people i have spoken to they say that figures help them with the very efficient shortlisting of manuscripts at the desk stage it helps with easier decision making when it comes to moving it through to the peer review stage and it helps them with categorizing the manuscript into specific journal issues or say for example if they are going to launch a special issue it helps them earmark a manuscript for publication as a part of that entire cycle 